Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. It is given that in a party, 75 persons took tea, 60 persons took coffee, 15 took both tea and coffee. No one taking milk takes tea. Each person takes at least one drink. Representing these in a Venn diagram, we would get something like this. But we don't know for sure if there are people who took milk and coffee. So we can also represent it like this. The first statement says 50 persons took the milk. Let's consider X people took both coffee and milk. We already know that 75 took tea and 60 took coffee and 15 took both tea and coffee. To find the number of people who took the tea alone, we'll have to subtract 15 from 75 that will give us 60. To find the number of people who took coffee alone, we'll have to subtract 15 and x from 60. And to find the number of people who took milk alone, we'll have to subtract x from 50 because we don't know who took both coffee and milk. Now if you consider this case, 60 people would have taken tea alone, 15 would have taken both coffee and tea, 45 would have taken only coffee and 50 would have taken only milk. With this statement alone, we cannot find how many attended the party. The second statement says, number of persons who attended the party is five times the number of persons who took the milk only. So to find the total number of people who attended the party, we have to sum all these up, which will give us 60 plus 15 plus 45 minus X plus X plus 50 minus X. Statement two says it's five times those who chose milk alone, which is five times 50 minus X. Now this equation cannot be applied for the second case that we assumed because if we add the total number of people in the second case we would get 170 whereas 5 times those who chose milk alone is 250. So we can eliminate this case on the whole. But we don't know if there are any other drinks in the party that is not mentioned in the question so it is kind of safe to skip this question because it's very uncertain. Anyways we will solve this equation we would get x as 20 which means the total number of people would be 170 minus 20, that is 150. You can cross-check in the Venn diagram as well, substitute 20 in the place of x. You will get that 30 people chose milk alone, so 30 into 5 will give us 150, that is the total number of people. So if we assume that the party had only 3 drinks, that is tea, coffee and milk, we will get the answer as option C because both these statements together are sufficient to answer this question. But if we assume that there might be other drinks in the party as well, then the correct answer would be option D. I guess we'll never know unless UPSC releases its original key. Therefore, it's better to skip these kind of uncertain questions.